Also, good nobbin, my name Model Maniacs. <laughs> waka waka waka. This is Panzerman Bill of Panzerman's Bunker coming to you, Vit. And on the bench segment, models fresh from the bunker. Yavol, we are coming to you from the bunker. That's right, Neil. Yeah, yeah. Messy desk. <laughs> All right, let me show you what I'm up to, guys. Uh, little explanation here. I've been not working on my re on my group builds because I had two review models I had to finish for a model club I belonged to. I had to write a reviews on them and everything and I was down to the deadline so let me show you what I've been working on. This this first one and I'll make a second video for the other review but first off uh, the kit I was working on is from Wisp Models and it's a Sunderkraft Wagen 9 Flak 88 Selbst Far Lafitte. And it's uh, the FAMO half track, the famous FAMO half track with an armored cab. And they put the uh, the Flak 88, 88 millimeter gun, the Deadly 88 on the back and had storage locker for the ammo. Um, Luftwaffe ground units and the, uh, the anti-aircraft units had this weapon. Um... It's kind of a rare. It's not not as not as numerous as like the ones that you see with the 37 millimeter cannon and the quad 20 millimeters, but they did have this, and it's a pretty cool looking vehicle. It's all resin kit, and it had a little bit of mixed media. Um, 48 scale, 148 scale, and let me show you what I done with it. All right, fellas. All right, yabo, we da see. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. There it is, fellas. There's my Sunderkrautwagen 9 uh, with the Flak 88. 48 scale, all resin kit. The figures did not come with the kit. I added them from my spares because I just wanted to put uh, some figures on here to give you a sense of scale and proportion. Um, like I said, being an all resin kit, I don't know if any of you guys put an all resin kit together, but they are difficult. They're a whole different animal than injection molded kits. Um, for one thing, you can only glue, any, glue them together with uh, instant glue, cyanoacrylate glue. Alright, and uh, they usually um, have problems with lack of instructions, but luckily uh, Weiss Models had very, very good instructions for this kit. Most resin kits, you're left to your own devices. Or worse yet, the directions are horrible and they get you all messed up. But like I said, this was a very nice kit, but every single bit of this is resin. And it weighs a ton. Very, very nicely done kit. Can't praise it highly enough. It's I did have to work, though, to get it to look this good. Like I said, uh... I had to do some corrections and some fixes and everything, but uh, I won't bore you with that. I did paint it all with uh, Valio Model Air paints, the camouflage, and did a whole series of different kind of weathering techniques, filters, and um, dusting effects, building up layers and stuff, different washes, and different chipping effects. The kit did not come with any decals. I did have to supply them myself. But I am pleased with how it turned out. Especially the little crew here manning it. Yeah. We usually shoot stuff in the sky. Now the allies are coming, we gotta shoot stuff on the ground. <laughs> Yo <Yabu. laughs> Waka waka. Alright fellas. I won't bore you with it. Just wanted to show you what I've been occupying my time with. Alright. Till next time, it's Panzerman Bill of Panzerman's Bunker saying. Alvita Zane, my diamond and Adam. Creepy. Grendel. 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 <laughs> See you there, fellas.